Hello and uh, welcome to RMTV. You've joined us down here at Waterloo Station where there's a demonstration against the massive fare increases that are likely to be announced this afternoon uh, on a day when the inflation figures come out and commuters are going to be facing fare increases of anywhere between 8 and 13 percent. We're joined here by a whole range of organisations that think that this is an absolute outrage and exactly the reverse of what's needed to get people out onto trains. We're joined now by the union's uh, president, Alex Gordon. Alex, been one of the people that helped organise this demonstration this morning. How's it going? It's going very well, Derek. I mean, we've had a lot of publicity this morning. You can see the media are very interested. Uh, but what we want to make sure is that this isn't just seen as a demonstration by wealthy commuters who've got a bit in their pocket and are complaining about the tax burden being shifted to uh, rail users. You know, all, what we're saying is that these fare increases are the tip of an iceberg, and that iceberg is called rail privatisation, and it's gouged about £6.6 .6 billion pounds out of public expenditure, out of our taxes over the last 12 years, uh, and they're looking to get about the same amount out of our taxation over the next 10 years. And that's just a subsidy to the bankers and the fat cats that can't be justified. Uh, so our message is bring back British Rail. Can I first of all thank the um, campaign for better transport for organising the protest today. I think we've had a chance to engage with commuters who are the people who are going to be having to pay these high fares in January to just highlight quite how high they're going to be. We're looking at 30% fare increases over the next three years. And this isn't something that had to happen. The government have chosen to increase fares by 3% above inflation this year and for the next two years as well. And with the flex that train operating companies have, commuters on routes that are particularly busy, and that's a lot in the southeast here, could end up paying 13% extra a year. This is because the government have chosen to cut the Department of Transport's budget too far and too fast. And as a result, the Department of Transport and Philip Hammond and the government have decided that they're going to clobber commuters. Well, we're joined now by Jerry Doherty, the General Secretary of the uh, Transport Salaried Staff Association. Jerry, this demonstration this morning, quite important. Absolutely important. If I was a commuter coming into Waterloo, it doesn't have the luxury of driving because you just can't do that. I would be, I would be coming down here and praising us for trying to do something. These, these fair riders are just horrendous. They're, they're going to, eventually going to be unaffordable. And uh, well, I mean, in terms of uh, the increase, it's going to be anywhere between eight and thirteen percent for, for some commuters. What effect is that going to have on the railways? Well, I don't know what effect it'll have on the railways. I know what effect it'll have on the bottom line of these chain operating companies that will increase their profits, because that's what it's all about. These people are not running the services for the, for the commuters that we see coming out of Waterloo Station. They're running it for the people who want to make money out of the industry. I don't think that's how this industry should run. Nobody else in Europe runs it like that, because they all recognise it's a service, it's not a business. Hi there, I'm Alexandra Woodsworth. I'm with the Fair Fares Now campaign, part of Campaign for Better Transport. We're here today outside Waterloo Station, really showing the depth of anger against these fair rises. So we're looking at an average increase of 8% in January, up to 13% in some cases. Uh, and we're really in a situation now where fares are rising four times faster than wages. This is incredibly difficult for a lot of people who are already struggling with rising costs across the board. We're very concerned that people simply aren't going to be able to afford to do a day's work when these fair rises come in. One, two, three, pop!